2025, I see nations emerging in the world. I don't know, but in the realm of the spirit, God is taking me to the nations of the world. When I say nations of the world, I am seeing United Nations welcoming nations of the world and the flags are adding to United Nations. Flag are adding to the United Nations. I am seeing where the world at large are no more able to govern themselves. The world is no more able to govern itself because of some certain things that is beyond the human control. Some certain things are beyond the human control. Just like the pandemic shook the whole world. The pandemic came and shook the whole world and some president and some countries we are somehow frustrated completely. Some gave up. Some were completely frustrated. Up to now they have not recovered from the, from the shock and from the things that happened. But in the realm of the spirit, the Lord began to open my eyes. I am seeing we are nations of the world. Some nations are not able to govern themselves. Why is all this thing happening upon the face of the earth? You know, I told you, I said nothing will happen except God has first of all revealed it to his servant, the prophet. Nations of the world will try to do everything possible, but as they are trying to do things possible, so other things will be happening that is beyond their power, that is beyond their control. Things will begin to happen that the nations of the world cannot handle. And this is why prayer is highly needed, that we may use prayer to help the world and deliver the world from the bondage and calamity of the enemy. When I say bondage and calamity of the enemy, I'm talking about uh, when the world now begin to struggle with what is called uh, the world want to come out. The world want to come out of oppression, but the forces of darkness and powers that be never want the world to, to come out. So we need to pray because things beyond the world power is coming upon the face of the earth. I don't know why, but this is the reason of what is called uh, the coming of the Son of Man. There are a lot of things that the world is going to experience. Very soon the world is going to begin to experience different kind of things. Different kind of things. I am seeing in the realm of the spirit where in some countries things like, this is something like saw. Something like saw in the body. Saw like, something like saw in the body. A fresh outbreak. Something like saw in the body. Saw. This is saw. Something like saw. People complaining from a place. Something like saw coming out of the body. Remember a few some weeks ago and some time ago I began to give prophecy of some manufactured kind of animals and insects. Some kind of animals and insects and I say these insects are like, like maybe like a mosquito, like a housefly, like cockroach, like other things like that being manufactured in the realm of the spirit to come upon the face of the earth. And I begin to ask what are those things for and what will they stand for and what are they trying to make up in the whole world. And the Lord begin to open my eyes the more and the more and show me things that is said to happen, especially in the realm of the spirit. In the realm of the spirit. So God is very much interested in delivering his people. The essence of all this revelation is for the people of God to pray, 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 pray. This is what is called Saul. This is outbreak of Saul. I see a country. I see a place. I see a nation where people now begin to cry for what's called the Saul of the body. The outbreak of Saul. And this outbreak of Saul is something that, you know, somehow begin to trouble a whole, like a village, like a town, like a community. And they begin to cry for the world to help them. And I see we are... The, the World Health Organization and other uh, humanitarian agency we are moving into country to help this country. We pray the hand of the Lord to take over and then they get to bring healing to all those kind of attacks and those things in the realm of the spirit. Also, we need to pray also the spirit of flood that I've told you people last time is continuing. It's continuing. But we need to pray that God will overpower the powers of the enemy and give victory to the people of God people of God must have victory. We also need to encourage every defender of our lives. When I say defender of our lives, those that are praying for all of us and standing in the gap to pray, we need to also pray for them 
those that are also standing to defend in one way or the other security personnel or whatever that they are doing the right thing that they are doing we also need to pray for them for protection we need to pray that the hand of the lord will prevail and especially we need to also pray people in position in one way or the other in whatever capacity whatever level we also need to pray that god begin to take away every mindset of selfishness and God begin to give mindset of what is called a national mindset on how to help the people and liberate the people and move on. We also need to pray because in the realm of the spirit, I am also seeing a lot of secret, more secret opening in one way or the other in the country. A lot of secret begin to open, open secret, secret upon secret, secret upon secret. And I begin to look at this secret that are opening and the Lord said all those secrets that are opening are opening because uh, God is trying to show the world uh, for the world to know that there's nothing that is hidden because in the realm of the spirit I am seeing things that are discussed under the, 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 the under under uh, a secret chamber things discussed in secret chamber being made open in the public because of what is called a confession confessions confessions so we pray the hand of the Lord to prevail because uh, I am seeing a lot of confession coming up and up and up. A lot of secret opening and opening. You see, uh, all these things are the reason why we need to pray. We need to pray. We need to pray for the hand of the Lord to prevail because there are so many things that need to open for people of God to be free. For everybody, every one of us to see the light of God for the nation and everybody for the right thing to be put in place. So we need to pray at this point and we need to declare the hand of the Lord to prevail. And then I want to also talk to the nation. The nation should also be careful the way they are managing their economy. The economy of the nation, they need to be very careful the way they are managing the economy. Prayer should be set up if it is possible, let prayer be set up. The people in the banking sector, the people in the, in the central bank, the people that control the economy of the nation should set up people to pray for them, to help them rescue dollar. Rescue Naira from the hands of dollar. Because Naira in the hands of dollar and other international currency is what is called a Muslim. So if the prayer is properly set up and prayer is done and the right step needs to be done, what is called spiritual currency prayer needs to be done to rescue the Naira. Rescue Naira is not, I'm not rescue Naira because I'm the one that want to spend it, but to, because of the business people, especially people that do importation, people that go abroad, that buy dollars to go abroad, they need help. They need instant help. And this help is the only help that is needed at this time. And this prayer needs to be entered into from now to like a 30 days prayer. When I say 30 days prayer, it's 30 days that they will use like a month, especially the month of September, so that the dollar can crumble, so that the dollar can fall, and the dollar can become nothing. And then people begin to go into the market, I have dollar to sell, and the dollar now is being priced as a very cheap price. As if the dollar to extend that if the dollar is about coming back to, to 300, 200, 250 and coming down and coming down, 350, coming down, coming down and coming down. So the essence of this prophetic exercise is very, very important for the monetary organization, for the people in charge of the monetary system. The people in charge of the monetary system, yeah, they, they, they need what's called a spiritual intervention. And this intervention can only be done by the prophetic manifestation of the grace of God. You see now, right now, the dollar is just 500 and above. You see 500 and above. But the prophetic that I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit, when the proper the revelations and what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit happen physically, dollar will drop from 520. It will come down straight away to 400, 400 to 350, 350 to 300, and the dollar may even go down more. So prayer is needed so that this thing can be achieved spiritually, especially it is for the businessman. It is for the businessman. <laughs> Go 
Ya pa' tu desvelito 